Basic facts about human hair The different races and genetic makeup that we each have are actually the main reasons why each of us has different types of human hair. Because of this variety in human hair, not all of us can use a general type of hair product, hairstyle, and haircuts. But more than that, you also need to know the biological makeup of the hair in order to get a deeper understanding about it. Hair is actually referred to the pigmented hard filaments extending out from the skin, and this hair is referred to as terminal hair. Terminal hair basically grows on the dermis and is seen in many parts of the body, the head, legs, arms, armpits, pubic parts, and face. It is noted to have a thick texture and color will vary on the ethnicity that you have. Vila's hair is noted to be very fine, colorless, and shiny, especially when exposed to light. Vila's hair is actually found in many parts of the body from the day we were born. This is already present in our bodies. Compared to terminal hair, the Vila's hair is not that of very visible human hair, but depending on what part of the body it belongs to, it may eventually turn to terminal hair as puberty begins. It is also referred to as peach fuzz and is only a few millimeters in terms of length. Lanugo hair is human hair usually found in newborn babies and this can be observed that it is part of the entire body. It is characterized as long, thick, and at times very strong. Lanugo hair is what covers the body of the newborn baby even while it was still in the womb. It is what keeps the skin hydrated and healthy. But as the baby grows older, the velous hair replaces it and becomes lesser as the baby ages. Because we are of different nationalities and genes, people's hair types is usually classified according to the race that he or she comes from, because people that we closely resemble in terms of genetic makeup are those who are of the same race as we do, hence the classification of hair type according to regional ethnicity.